Mr. Skern, to what extent is the legacy of Max F. Perutz to be felt in Vienna? I feel the legacy of Max Perutz for several reasons. The first most important one is in teaching. Uh, Max Perutz left the University of Vienna to go to Cambridge because he was bored by the teaching in the chemistry department. And for me, that means I must always try and be modern in my teaching, make the students enthusiastic, bring the subject to life for them. The second thing is the legacy of Max Perutz and all of the people who were forced to leave in the 1930s. And that is that this is the result of intolerance, discrimination against gender, creed, religion, sexual orientation. And it's very important that in Vienna and the MFPL nowadays we have an atmosphere uh, of community spirit where there is no discrimination and everybody supports each other in a common goal. In which ways do MFPL researchers sense inspiration emanating from Max Perutz? Um, lots of ways, I think. So there are uh, many different ways of doing good science. I mean, there are people like Francis Crick who talk a lot and do very little experimental work. Um, and Max Perutz was the classic sort of bench scientist. He was happiest when he was doing bench work. Um, even you know, uh, up to his retirement and beyond, he was still doing bench work. Um, and I think this sort of uh, philosophy of research that you have to go and you have to use your own hands, you have to use your own eyes, um, is something that all of us current scientists um, can benefit from. Science is a, a team uh, effort, if you like, and um, to encourage the people around you to, you know, to work together uh, for success, I think, is something really, really special. And the fact that he was able to achieve that is, is remarkable. Max F. Peretz was born 100 years ago. How is the MFBL celebrating? MFPL is celebrating with a scientific symposium entitled Crossing Frontiers. For me, this course of the last few days was an exercise in crossing frontiers for a group of very uh, capable and very talented school children from Salzburg who were uh, coming to a university environment for the first time. They were performing exercises that normally only uh, advanced undergraduates did. Do. They were uh, capable of doing these exercises, they asked very pertinent and relevant questions, they got deeply into the subject, they spoke English with each other and with me the whole time, and I'm very impressed and I hope this little adventure, this little frontier that they crossed will make them excited about doing a career in scientific research. Thank you very much.